So here we are at the vanity. I know I put a teaser up about this some time ago. Um, it's the Singer sewing machine that I was turning into a vanity. It was done shortly after that, but I've had um, some issues running into the um, mirror on the inside. I've tried several different methods, clips, screws, glue, you name it. So this time I think what I'm going to do is get it clipped there and then build the frame around it and put it right in. So I can catch up with that later. I do have some pieces sitting to the left there that looks like a mess um, from some old antique shelves I've gotten out of old homes and I'm going to put them up as focal points. So we'll take a look here. This was the chair that I already had here and so I've painted it to match and I'm going to reupholster the seat at some point. Um, there was a drawer missing here so I had one made up and I had these little wooden pieces here that um, are used for the poles and we can take a look at that in a minute. So on the top of the desk it wasn't very recoverable to meet uh, the meat. <laughs> The wood itself the meat and potatoes and so um, although I'm not an advocate of painting antique things that I felt was necessary so I chose to go with like a 19 late 30s early 40s um, baby yellow color and did some stenciling and distressing so it would already appear like it been around for a little bit and down the sides here we have the little pieces that were on the ends I can um, Focus on those on some pictures later where we have a little more room to show. Uh, it had the hinges along this side, so I removed them and put them along the top. And this is where the mirror is going to go. You can see a couple spots where I tried to screw it on there. And then um, inside here, we had it built so that the frame, because it was just a temporary frame or the sewing machine dropped down into, it now is a wooden frame, which again, I'll include pictures of. So it's quite deep. I wanted it and I drew up a design for it so that it could be um, as deep as possible and I could get as much um, storage, space as, as as, bleh, storage space as possible. So this is a um, special walnut um, stain from Midwax then I'll put a link up to that but that makes it already look sort of old and aged so there's one of my clips I was just looking for so that's handy hopefully I find the other one because I'm gonna need the two as you can see this box is quite deep some makeup sponges and different things in there so that was a gift from one of my daughters for Mother's Day and it was filled with Lots of great stuff from Ipsy, as you know, I love. And here's some more overflow stuff. So this fits in here and it doesn't even take up half the space, which is quite nice. And I have all different things in there. These are my recent bags, so now I can put them away now that I've recorded them and taken the pictures. So that works nicely here. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the drawers here. So you can see from the top too how they looked. And so this bottom one, I tried to give it the same kind of look. I had some old pieces of um, the squares that would go on either end of your trim on a doorway. So that's in the center. And I had little wooden um, pieces that looked like that middle drawer um, that I'd bought years and years ago from White Rose for whatever reason. So I've redone the drawers and I've started putting different categories. These are blushes, for instance. And these are different types of um, really heavy-duty moisturizers, especially for the winter when your skin needs a lot of hydration. Um, <laughs> there's the foundation my daughter Nicole bought me a ton of at Christmas. This I've started gathering... It's an old bag I had, and I started gathering all the different types of um, face masks and different masks we'll be trying. Um, there's the magnetic eyelashes we did in previous videos. So one of these bags has doubles, so I can do them with somebody, probably Nicole. And another bag has singles, so something I'm going to do myself. And that's a collection of stuff, mainly from Amanda and Nicole already, and a few things that I've picked up.
So that's fun and I can get ahead and do that stuff up here because there's a bathroom and things um, at the ready. So it won't be too much of a big deal for me to do that. A couple extra samples and I keep this here because it reminds me of where I come from with the birch bark. Lots of stuff like that growing up in the Muskokas and that was a really wonderful time. So I hope you enjoyed this and maybe it gives you some inspiration to give it a go yourself. Um, if you want any ideas or tips or hints, I've redone them to natural as well. Um, this one doesn't have the trendle, but maybe I could get that at some point. Uh, the other ones have. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're having a great day. Much love.